Only four cars front of the top fuel at the Australian Drag Racing Nationals and it was American driver Dom Lagana who came out on top. Lagana beat Mildura driver Darren Morgan with a strong hole shot and a 4.084 second pass. In the B final, Wayne Newby took the win over Damien Harris. With the top fuel cars running first, the crowd left early, leaving the rest of the finals to be run in front of mostly empty grandstands. That was a shame as otherwise they could have seen some great racing including John Zapier raced yet another top door slammer title. The Western Australian ran a 4.903 second pass over the 1000 foot strip to beat New South Wales driver Paul Canooley. John Canooley dominated top alcohol taking the title with a win over the altered of Brian Lockman. Lee Bektash solo to a win in pro stock after Joe Polito couldn't start following a big crash in his winning heat. Justin Russell is the new supercharged Outlaws title holder after a winner over the dragster of Ryan Van Dyke in the final. A big field in modified eliminator and it was Craig Barker's dragster who beat Derek Wills Altered in the final. Super Sedan also attracted plenty of competitors and the beautiful Chev powered Gemini of Pat Caruso defeated Ned Karanovic in the final. The long trip from Western Australia was worth it for Gordon Crawford who took out modified bike after Brendan Sanders cut a red light. Graham Cooper's EH Wagon the Bricklayer has been around Calder for about as long as I have. He's still going strong though and he took a win in Super Street over Chris McNaughton's Cortina. Jamie Chasey in the Commodore won Super Comp courtesy of a fast reaction time to beat Darren Parker's Pontiac. And Jasmine Slamar will have something special to take to show and tell when she goes back to school in Western Australia after winning Junior Dragster over a red light in Jake Berrias. Spectator numbers were up on recent meetings at Calder, but the lack of nighttime racing and the Sunday evening's finals concept confused and seemed to disappoint a lot of fans. Hopefully next year's Nationals will see a return to the golden days when it really did deserve the title of the Big Go.